So now that we have a bunch of different parts, and we can see those all over here, how do I export those for a laser box? Well, it's really simple, actually. So I can select a part. If I right click on that part, I can then go to the export as DXF, DWG. I want to pick DXF. I want to make sure the name is nice. I'm going to export it, and then I'm going to open the laser box software. And I do that by typing the Windows key and typing the name of the program. I can now import the DXF directly into the file. And I can take several of them. I'm also going to take and export one of the arcs, export DXF. And let's do the T also. Then I'm going to go back to LaserX. I'm going to hit the plus, And I can go and import any of those pieces. I can hold one of those. And it's going to come in. I want to click Imperial. Hit OK. And now I have a pre-made part. The sizes are exactly right. If I scale this, it's no longer going to be right. So you definitely want to take whatever size it is and just use that. If I want two of them, I can hit Control-A, Control-C, Control-V. Now I have two of them. I can rotate this. Maybe it might make sense to rotate this 90 degrees so I can then take these two pieces and backs them up together a little tighter. I can keep adding stuff. I can make a bunch of parts to import. So maybe I want one of the arcs, Imperial. And usually you're going to want at least two of anything. So I'm going to take one of those, Control C, Control V, and rotating him around 180 should make it a little more space efficient. And then I can grab, import one more part, take the 3 by 3 T slot, Imperial. OK. Now this should be exported. So file export, and say this is an LQ file. So robot, so spooner parts. Then it's all of as an LQ file. I can now submit this to the print form. And that's as simple as going to my website, filling out the form, putting your name, robot parts, give me a laser cut, next. Cardboard, next, laser cut, ASAP, you're going to need these parts right away, keep working on your project, add a file, select files from the device, grab the LQ file, upload it, and then submit. I'm not going to bother to submit because I don't really want it, but you'd hit submit, otherwise I won't have the file. 